Well, welcome to GEMS from The Secret Place. My name is Robert Pears. I'm glad you're joining me. I want to share the importance of pressing on today, and I want to give you insight from Smith Wigglesworth. Father, we come in the precious name of Jesus. We come to receive a now word of encouragement from heaven. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear, and a hearing heart. Holy Spirit, come and open the word. And let our lives be built upon the revealed word where we see Jesus, we hear Jesus, and we do it, Father God, in the precious name of Jesus. I thank you for change in our lives. I thank you for the... Uh, climate of heaven to invade every part of our lives and our circumstances, Father, in the name of Jesus. And in Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14, it says, Brother, I do not regard myself as having laid hold of it yet, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to that which lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. I press on. No matter what he went through, he didn't stop, get discouraged, depressed. He didn't allow anything to hinder him, but he pressed on. And we need to have a pressing on. I realize there's some days you wake up and I mean, there's just an avalanche. There's just an overwhelming attack of the enemy to discourage you and to get you to stop. But there must always be a pressing on in us. Smith said this, I want you to be full of enough joy to fill a deep well. Are you filled with enough joy to fill a deep well? But in the secret place you will be. In the secret place, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And we discover that the fruit of the Spirit is what? Joy. And in the secret place, we become filled because we are in Him, in the Spirit. It's a new way of living. It's a new order of life. And the Spirit fills us with a joy so that we overflow enough to fill a deep well that others see it and want to draw to it. He said this, if you have to make it happen, there is something wrong. If God makes it happen, there's always something right. Because in this place, you can press on because I'm not the one trying to make it happen. And that's why we get discouraged. That's why we pull back and quit. Because our efforts fail. But that's the wonderful thing about the secret place. Because the secret place, I recognize my inability and I throw myself on the altar and receive His ability. There's an exchange of strengths. I boast in my weakness and I declare that in my weakness, His strength is perfected. Hallelujah. God wants to do something great. Smith said this, let us go far enough. There's always one thing to do. Stay fully aware and always be pressing forward. It will not do to trust in the past. Let us go forward. Let us have a now faith, a now hope, and a now love in the secret place. Let us every day press forward what God's called us to do by abiding permanently in the secret place, receiving that life that's in Him, receiving that fresh daily encouragement so that you are stirred up. Hallelujah. Start the day as you mean to continue, filled in the secret place. Smith said this, When it comes to power of momentum, the past will not do. We must have an inflow of the life of God manifested. You cannot survive on where you were yesterday. What God gave you and what you received yesterday. It may have been great, but you need something new and fresh today from the secret place. You need to abide today in the secret place and pull that life from heaven. He said this, many people try to help themselves. What God wants is for us to cling to Him absolutely and entirely. May you have a life of clinging to him, recognizing that you cannot do it in your ability. And you look to Paul as a great example. And then you look to Jesus as your role model. Those that emptied themselves and came to the place, throwing themselves not on their strength and ability to get the victory, but pressing on every day by abiding in the secret place and laying hold of his grace, which is always more than sufficient. And the exchange of strength, my weakness for his strength. Amen. Well, I pray that you're encouraged and blessed in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you and check out more in the series. And may they encourage, provoke you and bless you in Jesus name. Amen.